Hi, it's the 1st of April and this is the Sonic Academy News. Hi and welcome to the New Look Sonic Academy News. Um, we're joined today with Chris and Brian and we're going to take you through some of the current week's news items. Um, first up on our news item is uh, Native Instruments have released uh, Molecular which is a multi-effects unit. Mm -hmm. We've had a go of this the last few days and we did a quick first look which will be available on the site pretty soon. Um, Chris, <coughs> you uh, quite like this plugin. Tell us a yeah, bit about it, it, how it sort of operates. It's a multi-effects, as Phil says, multi-effects. Its big thing is modulation. It modulates everything. There are four LFOs, there are four step sequencers, there are four uh, envelope followers, etc., etc., and everything can be assigned and reassigned and stuff. So there's four slots <coughs> that have sort of themes from distortion to spectral effects to uh, vocoders and things like that. Granular Gran delays yeah. and, and things like they're that. in a chain, and you can reorder that chain. It's a reactor ensemble. Yes. So you need a copy of Reactor Player, which is free, um, um, or a copy of Reactor Five. And I'm assuming if you've got Reactor Five, you can use maybe the modules in your own re reactor ensembles as, as well, which you can do with most of the other. Yeah. Sort of yeah. Some similar to what they did with the. Is there other uh, Monarch? Yeah, it was like an ensemble. You can, you can grab the filters and yeah. use them in your own stuff. The really interesting sound palette it gives you. It's, it's very much techno, tech house based. You know, you're, you're getting those sort of uh, really brittle, edgy sounds. It's not big reverb yeah. or lush. I thought it'd be nice for you know. There's you know, the, I was listening to the Dead Mouse track and how he sort of manipulates his percussion over a, a period of time to sort of create more interesting things. I thought it'd be great for that type of. Um, I don't think you're grabbing loads of instances in your track and, and putting it on various different things. You you probably create effects out of this. And does it uh, generate sounds or doesn't does it, doesn't generate doesn't make sounds? Any sort of white noise. Doesn't make wishes. No, no it's just a pure effects unit. Really lovely interface and very easy to get the grips with. So yeah, and the modulation is crazy on it. You can just sort of modulate everything. There's a, a center sort of morphing morphing thing where you can sign macros and also there's like a wheel circumference like a, and radius a vector. Mm -hmm kind of display an XY thing. Yep, so that's cool. It's uh, £129 and it's available now. £129, is that? Li I'd like to see it under the 100 mark, personally, but, mm. you know. Uh, and there's a lot of effects. You get, I think it's 30, there's 30 odd effects 36 here. effects, yeah. So, yeah, I think it's it's a really unique sound palette you'll get from it. What's uh, it CPU-wise? I mean, very, very good. It, was, it wasn't. Yeah, um, on <coughs> mine it was one hitting around 15%. What if, you, if you're putting in maybe just like one of your effects from it, does it drop the CPU yeah. down? Or yeah. It? yeah, it's all <coughs> modular, so you can drop in just um, like one instance of like on each. So there's like four DSP blocks, and on each of the blocks, um, they're sort of designated a specific category. So there's like the spectral filters, modulation, and then there's like a distortion and compression. So you can have either any of them on or off, and then there's like them. Mm. Um, there's like a series of effects which are common to bread and butter effects, yeah, reverbs, each, reverbs, delays. delays. Mm. The the one issue we found with it was when you're using the spectral uh, effects, it introduced a lot of latency, like 59 milliseconds. Yeah, and so it doesn't and that's not picked up by the computer's delay compensation, compensation. so... You have to yeah. manually go and shift. I know, yeah. it's only on certain effects, it says about it in the manual. Four, I think it's about four or five effects within the 36. Is it, a, is it a bug or is it just... No, no, I no, think it's, it's... part of the way the, it operates. I think it has to read forward into the... It's this sort of, uh, yeah, this algorithm that they've got going that okay. uh, it needs a lot of... So there we go, that's the molecular. Mm -hmm. You can get the demo now on the Native Instrument website, so like 40 megabytes, so it's definitely worth a download. Um, next up, we have Bitwig has been yeah. released. Finally has been released. Finally has been released. probably what we should say. Um, it's £259 on their website, and they've already updated to 1.04. Uh, again, we've we've had a play of this. Uh, there's a first introduction to Bitwig. Seven videos yep. on, on available on the site uh, where myself and Phil build a basically sort of do an overview and build yep. a basic track. We found it to be pretty stable. Yeah, it was it was good. I don't think it crashed. Maybe the odd plugin crash, and um, I think that was more um, using 32-bit plugins. The way the plugins work is interesting. It has uh, sort of containers for the plugins that are separate to the main app. 
So if a plugin crashes, it doesn't take out the whole the whole application. Yeah, which uh, that's a good, that's a cool feature. It is a cool feature. It must be some sort of a bridge because it can it runs 32-bit plugins and 64-bit yeah, plugins. Yeah, you mentioned though that they were having problems with 32-bit. Um, well, no, not problems. I mean, I was using it quite <coughs> happily, and then just on one one or two occasions. It so would, it is the DAW just 64-bit then? I believe it is. Yeah, I think it if is. That's the case. Yeah, it's a, but but it's probably like any of those thirty-two bit, sixty-four bit bridges. They are, to, mm. to my mind, they're a bit unstable. It's definitely is taking the best bits from Ableton, from Cubase, from Logic, and has. Remember, you mentioned that you you've always kind of favoured Cubase, and then when you moved to Logic, or sorry, when you moved to Ableton. You preferred the uh, getting an idea down and stuff enabled them, but you hated the arrangement and stuff. Is this a kind yeah, of uh, betweeny thing? Yeah, or? I mean, there's still a few features lacking. There's no grouping of tracks um, and a few other things. My controller isn't supported yet, uh, which is a standard Mackie control protocol. Yeah. There is a the new Mackie control protocol, which is built in, but it doesn't work with my controller, which is a shame. Be nice for them to get Ucon support, which would be. You didn't uh, try the push controller on it by chance? No, we haven't no. tried it. But no, I think it, it'll be, I think we did plug it in, but it doesn't show up. There, there, there are a couple of controllers out there. Yeah, you can you straight can, out of the box. Are working, you can so. use a generic MIDI controller, so if yeah. Ableton push sends out generic MIDI messages, you should use it. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I enjoyed the the automation. Felt very natural. Didn't feel as clunky as Ableton's. Um, there was a bit of an issue with the drop downs in uh, Bitwig where there's like a wee button that looks like a close tab, so like as if you wanted to fold your automation back up, and in actual fact it is a delete. Yeah. You also said that there's no groups. No group groups, yeah. Yet. They have and said that's that. coming, yeah. yeah. Um, so the, the update that's out today or yesterday, uh, 1.04. They've uh, improved automation buttons. There's a whole bunch of stuff here, mostly bug fixes and a few small improvements. Um, the VST plugin windows stay open when you switch between tracks now, so they don't close and you don't have to reopen them every time. Um, there's an interesting one here. Uh, the automatically, oh no, here it is. Keyboard input from VST windows on windows is now redirected to the main application window. That's a big problem we've had in developing yeah, plugins. Yeah. That, um, I remember, yeah. That the DAW takes control of. When you try to hit spacebar, you just get that dunk, dunk, dunk. Yeah, and you can't your, control your, the, the time. Yeah, your plugin takes over the keyboard controls, and then you, you know when you go to do something on your DAW, it doesn't work. So okay. mm. I'm, I'll be interested to see how that. I don't actually remember how Able to, or Anna worked with. Got it resolved. Bit uh, bit. Yeah. So there you go. Check out the uh, the new download if you haven't. If you again, there's a demo on their site, so have yeah. a, have a go with it yourself and That's see what you think. Let us know what you think. What about pricing and stuff? What? Two hundred and fifty nine. Two hundred fifty nine, which is Euros, I think pounds. Pounds. Pounding pounds. Uh, I find that a good. I think that's a good price. It's, mm. There's not, I think there is 50 devices that come with it. It doesn't feel like 50 devices, it's still... So come with a synth? Yeah, there's poly synth. Poly synth. Uh, it's already one F. up on Ableton there, isn't it? it yeah, come Sweet comes with a synth. <coughs> Sweet does, uh, yeah. Poly synth is very similar in layout maybe to analog. Right. Basically... Well, it's, it's, it's along the same lines, but the I really liked it. It was a really comprehensive oscillator section. You can do loads of stuff with the... Um, with the waveform, and then there's a, a unison mode, 16 mode, unison mm. mode, so it's really interesting. Good plugin. Cool. Next up, we have <coughs> the Ultra Music Festival. So this went on over the weekend. Yes. And um, uh, there's quite a few stories from it. Um, the main one seems to be the was a security guard badly injured, and is still in hospital. Um, yeah. Hopefully recovering. It seems. It's, well, it seems like not in life threatening situation anymore, from what I'm reading. Uh, and the mayor wants to to move it to move it to ship well i mean it's it's 55,000 attendees a day in a city center location which is always going to be problematic yeah. uh, this ultra festival has kind of dominates now what was the miami winter conference so it's kind of the the focal of the whole weekend yeah. Yeah. so there was 50 50 odd arrests in total which um, which isn't too bad i was yeah. looking at coachella last year like 90 yeah. glastonbury was 130 um and what was the other Most one? EDC, the UK have that. EDC was like yeah. 70 or 80 as well. Yeah. So it's not a, it's not it's a massive dying. amount compared no. to you know, other it's festivals. It's maybe just the, the death, I'm assuming. It's, it's well, it's not a death, it was just power, a, power, a, injury, yeah, yeah. A injury. injury. And it's a security guard. But I think the, be, the other big news from the festival has been uh, Avicii got taken into hospital. And we had Dead Mouse on. He got his gallbladder removed and Dead Mouse replaced him. And 
dead mouse trolled, as they say, uh, the young kids say. Uh, poor little Martin Garrix, an 18 year old, uh, played his track and played, uh, Oh McDonald had a <laughs> version of it. And fair play, the guy's got balls to stand up in a headline And then he set. went on and did a, 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 a techno, techno set. set. I, I was dipping in and out of the streams the whole weekend and I've got to be honest, I was a little bit disappointed with, stylistically, it was just very much big very much the same. and a big EDM drop. We checked out a couple of uh, sets ourselves Monday morning in here and uh, Jack Uni, which is Skrillex and Diplo. Yeah, that was excellent. I really enjoyed really that cool. set. Again, it's, it's not too far from what Diplo does with the major laser yeah. thing. But uh, yeah, there's, there's Skrillex-y sounds in there. Yeah. It just felt interesting and exciting. I just, when I heard some of the main guys, the whole three days across six stages just what's this whole talking into the mic thing yeah this is a, this is a new <laughs> yeah, don't talk yeah no the, I, every Ten, every dj nine. yeah i i i've just been in 20 years of dj and i've never seen anybody and there was some like i was watching some big you know well-known djs playing like really mega poppy yeah stuff like real so whenever, whenever dodgy I think, remixes i think of the miami winter music conference i think of real sort house, of house, house yeah. yeah really fresh summer tunes coming out and stuff and, and whenever I, you were playing me this stuff i was just like yeah, I remember you used to listen to Deep Tong or Pete Tong, and <laughs> it would be tongue. always the Serpy Tong. It would be always the big tune of the yeah. of the summer was like a high C sort of thing. But it's it's stuff that was not, like, he's not a sir, sir quite yet. He's an MBE, so he is. He's, oh right. Yeah, yeah. He's not. He's not Serpy Tong just yet. Serpy Tong. Yeah. Uh, uh, Can we not call him Serpy Tong? Yeah, no, absolutely. He is the Godfather. The <laughs> so, yeah. It's it's a real strange. Uh, it was a real, real just limited death, lineup. It feels to me a wee bit like the death of EDM. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, you know. You heard it here first. <laughs> you've got Dead Mice, who's you know potentially he's you know was one of the people along with maybe a couple of others that started the big American thing a few years yeah. ago. They all, they all, they all seem to be playing exactly the same stuff. Like yeah, I think that is years. when you know we've we've been around a few few loops, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, a few cycles of of genres you know when it gets big and when it gets small and you know there was the whole obviously it was a big trance thing in the, in the late 90s and then there was the, the deep dish you know they sort of came up and then you had dub fire doing and around that time it was like real dark techno type of stuff and it was, you know all the clubs were playing it was like it was almost ubiquitous and then this the sort of backlash to that seemed to be this big EDM, you know, if it, if it was minimal before then it was maximal, I think Saws and, you know, Swedish Ice Mafia sort of spawned from that. Now we've got to a point where, you know, I think when everyone starts playing the same music, people start going, hold on, wait a minute, you know, something. Yeah, someone someone will someone come along and, and bring something back. Yeah, I'd, I'd. That'll start a resurgence of that again. Mm. You know? Well, I think because when, when Deep, Deep Dish were doing their, you know, their last sort of singles were like super poppy. Singles, and I think that was when Dumbfire went. Hold on a minute, I don't want to. This is not what, what I'm doing, you know. And, and then he switched and went dark. Yeah. And it was a comparison there with what Dead Mouse is doing, where he's, mm. you know, making big tracks and like, hold on, this isn't working. Yeah, but you I know? mean, once these guys get the five million pound in the bank, then they can afford to go and switch, you know. Uh, but they, these are the game changers. These are yeah, the guys I, that, I, that, I, that I, will I, take a crowd with them, you know. So. I was, I was just. I, you know any festivals that we've probably experienced in the UK there was the techno arena there was the house mm. arena there was the trance arena and, and it's ultra the same or is it just one seven, stage? seven stages yeah. uh, but it just felt like there was EDM across all seven yeah. I think as you mentioned maybe they're not giving as much broadcast mm. yeah they're maybe just to, pick, they're picking up on yeah. the stars I mean there, there was the estate of trance 650 which was all you know trance stuff yeah. you know like our our guys were over there uh so yeah, it was it was fine. Just felt musically a little stayed. Yeah, but yeah. Cool. Let okay. us know what your thoughts are on the Ultra Festival. If you thought the music was good, bad. If you think music is changing, comment below. Um, our next item is some Sonic news. Bry, are you going to give us some insider info on what's happening at Sonic Academy? We have a new video player. Yeah, we've got a new video player. Um, I'll just bring it up here on the screen if we can. Yeah, so we've changed over our video player to um, a new service, uh, which is hopefully going to help some people out who have been having sort of buffering and connection issues. So previously we'd been using Amazon <coughs> S3, which yeah, where we they've got like a cloud initially front. was great. Yeah, and uh, it uh, it's just a it's a wee bit laggy and it's just yeah, not over the as course fast of the last as we would year like. Just seems, seems to I think we also upped the quality of our videos and there's more kind of. Um, 
captured motion now, so yeah. that's sort of affected it a wee bit. So we've um, we've changed over to a new server, and uh, I'll just actually I'm not logged in here. Two <laughs> <laughs> seconds. I hope you're subscribed, Brian. <laughs> yeah, and uh, oh, I'm not sure my password. Is, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll just bring it up here. So uh, at the minute we have uh, a Bitwig course as well out on the site as well that's loading. Um, you guys did a, an introduction to that and that's on YouTube as well for yeah, free. Yeah, it's free on YouTube and um, we'll be doing more Bitwig. Yeah, we're going to do a beginner's course. Beginner's guide, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Maybe wait till there's a, some track looping. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah that sort of on, on a on a semi embargo with me with myself about <laughs> that wagon until we've got some okay. grouping. So here is the the new video player. Um, as you can see, slightly different. Um, it automatically detects the the speed of your stream and that, and the the buffer seeking in it is is a lot faster. It's near instantaneous, isn't it? Yeah, than before. And this should improve for everybody. Yeah, this should improve across the board because there's a lot more of these servers about. If you were one of the people who was having difficulties before and we had <coughs> put you on to the progressive streaming. We've switched them all back. So that, you've all been yeah. switched back to that, so everyone should have the same. Yeah, so you'll notice a, a slight difference. You'll be able to access the, the playlist and stuff down the, the left-hand side. Um, cool, and this works right across the board on devices, yeah, iPhones, yeah, the, Android. The iOS, there's new iOS streams in there as well, so you can, there's, uh, I think there's five or six different iOS streams, depending on your quality of connection, and then um, I think it also works for Android as well, with the newer ones anyway, uh, cool. so that's that. Um, cool. Other than that, there there's... was someone on the forums asking about uh, the ability to manually switch the streams, it's a guy who has yeah. a, 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 a Bandwidth limit. Yeah, I spoke. I spoke to our the guys today, um, and they are going to have a look at it and see if they can do something like that. But the videos are they're the seven twenty p and they're ten eighty p, and the seven twenty p we've we've crushed the bit rate down on them, so they're they're not pulling a lot of, if, of data. If, if no, he's not going to be able to you know you're not going to be able to necessarily switch that yourself. If he's got a fast internet connection, but he, he wants to cap his usage. Yeah. It'll just probably switch. So hopefully in the in the next while we'll we'll find something that'll yeah. work. And we there. we also have um, music radar. If you remember last year, Ooh, yes, um, did a, a best synth of twenty thirteen. Yes, we came ninth, we came which ninth. was pretty amazing. So yep. thank you for all the people that are voting. Yeah, so they're running another one this year, and I'm going to put the a link up on this on the website. We'll we'll tag it on the. The tag below here, and you can you can go and well, crystal. Yes, crystal please vote. It was pretty awesome <laughs> last year when we got up so high. Yeah, the, the, um, Amazon. This is just this is just sense like kick and stuff. Yeah, so there's there's not a, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. yeah. more sense, not kick drum. But yeah, if you go to Music Radar and look for you know so, vote for the best synth in the world, and uh, give us a little vote, we'd very much appreciate it. Yeah, um, we were also on Pensado's place with kick. Mm, that yeah, was pretty cool. That, yeah, we we're big fans of Pensado's place here at Sonic Academy. It was pretty cool to see one of their their guests talk about kick. So it was pretty sweet. My interview techniques directly ripped off from Dave. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, yeah, that's it. What about uh, competitions? Yes. Yeah, so we're going to be running um, competitions through this new look news. Um, this week we're going to be giving away uh, a full subscription. Copy of Anna, a uh, copy of Kick, and a whole bunch of Sonic Academy plugin or sample packs. Sample packs yeah. um, and all you have to do for this first one is subscribe to our YouTube channel and comment below. So, um, talk about anything we're talking about this week, whether you like the Ultra Festival, what do you think of Bitwig, um, have you tried the uh, Native Instruments Molecular? So, chat about any of that kind of stuff, and we'll pick randomly. Uh, a commenter and a subscriber, and we'll sure. give us and okay. we'll we'll be up in the prizes to you know bigger and better ones. Maybe do a big one at the end of the month. Yeah. Or yeah. get a few sort of they might be partners involved. involved. We, we have been <coughs> fond of the old sort of guessing games and different things. So <laughs> yeah, um, we've a preset pack in the works. So we might be some mm. preset names you can guess or something like that. We'll <laughs> we'll see. But I always love those ones. So. Yeah. Or the photo one. What was your favorite competition? Uh, it was the photo ones. It was the photo ones. Yeah. The Friday Madness ones? Yeah. yeah they were good. Yeah. So yeah, stay tuned. Keep keep uh, your eyes on our Twitter, our Facebook, and uh, our forums if you want to ask any questions to any of the guys. So that's it for this week. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.